Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amari Clear, and I'm back with another video. So this video is going to be a <clears throat> what I eat in a day. Sorry, it's like 5 o'clock in the morning. So it's going to be what I eat in a day. Um, I'm going to show you guys my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner. I'm actually going to cook my dinner today. And then um, I have my snacks. <clears throat> Sorry. So right now I am on a fat loss journey slash a cut. So I'm trying to lose, um, or I'm not trying. I am. I've already lost three pounds. My goal, my goal for June was to lose a certain amount of pounds. I'm not telling y'all how many, but um, I wanted to lose a certain amount of fat, um, so I can see my muscles better and basically like tone and um. I have a goal weight that I want to get to, or at least a range. So my goal for this month was to lose fat. So I'm on a cut, and what that basically means for me is I'm on a caloric deficit, and I'm moving a lot more. Honestly, the amount of like activity or movement that I'm doing is going to be something that I want to keep consistent in my life every day. Um, so I'm working out in the mornings, but then I'm also... Um, walking a lot more like I'm making sure that I hit my 10k steps every day and also my cardio is a lot more structured so I do three days of intense um, short intense cardio so basically I'll run a mile really fast on the treadmill or outside I do that three days a week and then the other three days I do longer cardio with less intensity. So I'll do like 20 minutes on the Stairmaster at level five or six, or I'll do an incline walk for like, it's always between 20 and 45 minutes. So incline walk, um, yeah, so it's always one of those, or I'll do the elliptical. So all three, both of those are um, either of those is how I do my cardio. And then like I said, that's in the mornings after my strength training. And then in the afternoon, I'll go walking. Um, and then at work, I go walking throughout my shift, literally like every 30 minutes or at least once every hour, I'll go walk for about 10, 15 minutes because right outside our building, there's a roundabout. So I kind of just walk around a circle because it's not a high traffic area. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. And then I'm also eating smaller portions which the way I eat is not something that I really changed much of. The only thing I would say is different is definitely smaller portions. So I eat like five to six times a day. Um, I eat every two to three hours and basically my meals are small. Um, and so I'm in a caloric deficit. I'm not counting my calories. But um, I'm definitely like making sure that I'm measuring like how much I'm eating. So like oatmeal, I'll do like one fourth cup of oatmeal instead of one half, which is a smaller portion. Um, things like that is what I do. And then like for my meat, like if I eat ground turkey, I'll do like half a cup of ground turkey. Basically, like I'm using my measuring cups, but I'm not weighing my food. I guess and I'm not um, counting my calories I just I've been doing it for so long that I pretty much know like how much is how much calories are in the food that I'm eating um, and like I know when something is too much or not enough so yeah that's basically what I wanted to tell you guys before I get into the video right now I'm about to do my devotional um, and spend time with God and then I am going to the gym today is leg day and then, yeah, so keep watching if you are ready to see what I eat in a day. y'all so i just got out of the shower and i realized that 
when I put my oils in the pot, I literally put them on the wrong, well, I turned on the wrong eye or whatever it's called. So my eggs were not boiling while I was in the shower because usually like I put my eggs on, take a shower, come out, and then I make whatever else I'm going to eat with the eggs. And then, um, yeah, well, the eggs are just now boiling and that makes me so upset because I need to go to work. So, instead of me, hmm, I'm going to improvise real quick. I was going to eat boiled eggs with oatmeal um, for breakfast, but... So, I'm going to let the eggs finish boiling, which will take about 15 minutes. And then, um, I'm going to eat my oatmeal. But while that's boiling, I'm going to show you guys my lunch and my snacks for today. So, first, let me just say that I cooked this on Sunday, and today is Thursday. So, I haven't had to cook since Sunday, and I just love that for me. So, for lunch, I'm eating ground turkey with green beans and half of a sweet potato. So, I have my protein, my complex carbs, and my fiber or vegetables. So I pretty much eat the same snacks every day. It's always a shake or a smoothie. And then the other snack is always Greek yogurt with walnuts and some type of fruit. So right now the shakes that I am drinking are these Organ Organic Nutrition Smoothies or shakes. So this is a protein shake, it's grass fed, so it does have milk in it. And the flavor is creamy chocolate fudge. So this is not the original one that I like. They have another kind that's just chocolate fudge. It's not the, or it's like creamy chocolate, but it doesn't have the fudge in it. Um, but they only sell those on Amazon and a 12 pack is like $40. And um, I just don't want to spend that for some protein shakes right now. So I have been buying these from Publix and they come in a four pack. The main difference is the ones that I buy from Amazon are actually better because they only have um, like two grams of sugar and um, it's only like 150 calories versus this one. It has um, the fudge in it and it also has more vitamins and mineral vitamins and minerals and vitamins and minerals in this one. So um, it's 250 calories and it has 12 grams of sugar so um yeah i prefer the other one but for now this will do so this is usually what i drink around like 12 or 1 p.m while i'm at work and then i eat my lunch around two or three and then my last snack is um this yogurt so i've been going between two yogurts um now my main goal is to get a greek yogurt that has the least amount of sugar this one has, um, let's see, zero grams of sugar. It's zero sugar. And it's only 60 calories and it's the vanilla flavor. So I eat this with um, walnuts and walnuts are a good source of healthy fats. So I put this in my yogurt. I also put blueberries um, or strawberries in it for just a little bit extra um, sweetness to it. So that's what I eat literally every day, um, Monday through Friday, and sometimes Saturdays I'll follow that same regimen, just depending on what I have planned that day. Um, for my dinner tonight, you guys will see that later because I actually have to cook today. But now I'm just going to keep waiting on my eggs, and then I'm going to start preparing my oatmeal, and then I'm going to work. And then I will be back after... After I go to work, I'll come back and show you guys my dinner and my last snack of the day. Still waiting on my eggs. Finally got my eggs. I'm going to eat these and then I'm off to work.
so I am home from work and as you guys can see I am making my dinner for the next two days so today and tomorrow so I have seared chicken thighs which are still cooking and I have roasted potatoes in the oven and then I made me some Brussels sprouts this is my first time making Brussels sprouts Brussels sprouts and I bought the frozen ones because I wanted to try them frozen before I buy them fresh because when you cook stuff fresh it's a lot harder so I just wanted to try it out to see how I um, can make something out of frozen Brussels sprouts and um, I was about to say something oh I found this recipe on Pinterest um, it was just pepper it was already seasoned with salt and pepper but I added a little bit a little bit more pepper Parmesan cheese olive oil mix it all together and then I put it in the air air fryer and I'm gonna put it in there for five minutes or six minutes now take them out shake them up and then a few minutes again um, searing the thighs and then my potatoes are roasting like I said so first I learned a little trick I put my potatoes in the microwave for five minutes first to soften up and then I put them in the oven to roast for like 15 20 minutes um, that's just a hack that I learned in my personal training course because um, we did like a meal prepping challenge or whatever and that was one of the th one of the things that he did um, so yeah that is my dinner for today and then I wanted to show you guys my snack um, my snack for today is a um, fiber one bar I have fell in love with these my job had them um, when I was and so my job had them and then I just tried it out because it's only 70 calories and it has two grams of sugar and um, it's only five carbs and it's so good it's like a perfect little dessert and like this is literally like nothing when it comes to calories so um, this really helps me out on my caloric deficit to still have something sweet um, without like over consuming um, calories so yeah guys that is pretty much what I eat in a day this is literally like what I eat every single um, every single day um, at least five days a week and then of course I have at least two cheat meals a week so even if that's during the week this week so far I had two um, tacos from Chipotle I think I had them on Tuesday and then um, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go out to eat on Saturday that's kind of like a thing for us um, I'm gonna show you guys my food when it's done but after that that is gonna be it for today's vlog and I meant to add that I eat this obviously after my dinner so I try not to eat after like 7 8 p.m. But I am going to go on another on a walk after I cook and it's 7 o'clock right now. So my food should be done within the next 15, 20 minutes like all together. So I probably won't be eating till 8 p.m. but it's not a big deal. So yeah, we are just waiting for the food to get done at this point. So I said that I was going to go on my walk first and then eat, but the Brussels sprouts are so good that, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and eat. And it is 721, so perfect timing. And, yeah, the Brussels sprouts are it. Like, they're so good. So I'm going to start making my Brussels sprouts like this until I feel like trying it the fresh way. But... This is busting. So I'm about to eat my dinner. Bon appetit or whatever they say. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and you have some meal ideas. Um, also, I wanted to acknowledge like how small my portions are because um, that's like one of the big things for me with like being a caloric deficit. I want to make sure that my portions are small but I'm still like getting in enough to where I'm satisfied for a few hours. Like I said, I eat every two to three hours and that is how I regulate my blood sugar and how I make sure that I'm getting in all my meals. So three meals and two to three snacks. So like I said, my first snack was a smoothie. My second snack was yogurt with the blueberries and walnuts and then my um last snack is the brownie if you guys have any video ideas you want me to do in regards to health and fitness comment below and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video bye y'all